Hello, Nicolás. Hello, guys. I think the system kicked us all out, right? Yes. Walter, hello. Good evening, everybody. Teacher, good evening. Good evening, hello, good evening Nicolás. Hello, good evening. Well, the good thing is that... Uh, Uh, the good thing is that we could open it fast. Well, 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 let's continue. Let's see, you were talking in groups, right? Let's see, is everybody here? Before we move on, let me please get the attendance uh, okay let's see Ambarelia Gómez. present thank you Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos it's around uh, Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher, present. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. I think trying to connect. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Marta. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, we were working in small groups, right? See, we were working in small groups and we are going to go back to the groups. Okay, let's see. We we'll go back to the groups now. The first time you were working in groups of one member. Second time you're going to work in pair. Yeah, I mean in pairs, you were working in pairs. Now you're going to be working in groups of three. And the third time you're going to be working in groups of four. The same question. How was your weekend? What did you do? The only situation is this. I'm just going to increase the time in one minute. Okay, just one more minute. So you will be, you will need to be speaking fast, okay? So let me recreate the groups. Okay, groups are created, please jump in.
And you tonight, work all day? And tonight, did, excuse me? Did you work all day? Yes, yes. I uh, returned in my house, the, my work is 5 p.m. And okay. night, and I watch TV, uh, the movie. Oh, and Saturday and Sunday, and tomorrow, I clean in my house, uh, clean in my car, and at noon, uh, I went to play in soccer, and. In the afternoon, I watching to be a, a selection national. Oh, okay. Oh my God, a little tired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little do tired. you? Oh, yes, yes. Um, and night. Oh, wow. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the um, compartir. How do you say compartir? Share, share. Share all. And I'll tour in my house, my family. With and my family. With my family. With my family. And I'm watching TV. I'm watching TV. Así pasa fin de semana. Okay. <laughs> este, Silvia, how was your weekend? Uh, it was good. I rested and I stayed home. Yeah, I I prepared some food for my family. I cleaned my house and I had to tidy my my room and just that. Anything important? Just just here at home. Oh. Yes. Did you return at work, Sylvia? When? Or or are you on vacation? I am on vacation. I will come back to the to work again on 17. Ah, okay. Oh, que chivo. Yeah. <laughs> And my and my okay. case and my vacation is uh, December and twenty three. No, no, excuse me. Yes, and twenty three. Uh, and we salimos de vacaciones. Salimos. How do you say salimos? We went out. Okay, we went out on the 23 and return and my work and 10 January. All the company have a vacation in that um, okay, in that day? In those yes. dates? It was very much because because I I had about a candy for my nephew and and I cannot to to get him and and this is where my activities on weekends and Jose Osorio tell me in, in my case on Saturday uh, was a very busy day at the work and for the afternoon De un solo me sacó, teacher. <laughs> I don't listen, teacher. Yes, I asked everybody to come back here. It was time. Okay. No, que de un solo me mandó a la... Me sacó del grupo. Yes, the system does that. Cuando yo le pido al sistema que lo saque, algunos me los manda rapidito. Ah, okay. 
Okay, teacher. That happens. Okay, everybody's back. Now, guys, send you back. Now you're going to work in big groups, okay? So I need you to make your answers short, 30 second answers, okay? No more than 30 seconds, your answer, the answer that you give to your classmates. No more than 30 seconds, because you're going to be in bigger groups and I, I will be passing by from group to group and I want to check out how much time are you using for your answer so be concise be to the point and express your ideas clearly and fast okay so i'm going to recreate groups let me see okay groups are recreated please john pin Uh, I, uh, I, I went to my job uh, Saturday and, and Sunday. And uh, Sunday in the night, I uh, ate uh, Chinese food. Is that? And you, Lucero? It was amazing. I prefer, I prefer that Sylvia can answer the question. Hi, Sylvia Pineda. Hi. What did you do this weekend? On the weekend? Uh, uh, I didn't do anything special. I just... Um, at home and I prepared some food for my family and because I live with my my parents and my two brothers and uh, I just washed I did the laundry I tied and cleaned my my, my room um, the house and I studied the shopping and yesterday I was with my sister and my niece birthday and I helped it, I helped her to organize and decorate and you know all, all about the uh, birthday Your bedroom. Uh, sorry in your house no with my sister and ah, right. in my sister house at my niece birthday and I helped her and after then we watched the select and you know that was my weekend. And you Susana, how was your weekend? Uh in my weekend uh it's a so so but I I I I was the my father sick and 
I I Friday and also I sick. <laughs> ah, really? I was yes. <laughs> Uh, but I, I, uh, yeah, 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 I, I go, I very well, I, no sería, I, me siento, no sería, ya me siento bien. I feel, I feel. I feel, I feel, very well. Okay. Okay, okay so, um, yesterday, I, I, my father, my sister, I, my brother, um, uh, visited, visited my my father. Do you do you visit it with your father? No, my my sister and bro, my brother. Uh, I I live, I live with my 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 father. Ah, really? wow, okay. With my father. Uh -huh. Okay. They, okay. they, ellos vinieron, sería, they yes. went, they went. They, they came. They came. They came. Uh, they came. Okay. My house. Is it the, your father and you? Uh, no, I, I your, live, your... I live yes, with yes. my father. Your your uh, sister and brother visited your house. Do you yes. live with your father? Yes, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's give them a few more seconds.
Okay, let's see. How was the exercise? Fernando, tell me, please. How did you like the exercise? Who did you talk to? Hi, teacher. Um, I felt a good exercise. <laughs> Great. But, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So tell me, what did you find out about your classmates' weekends? Tell us. Uh, tell you about my classmates. Yeah, tell me about a couple of them, please. Okay, my classmates were in the previous activity, Janira and Amber, and in the second activity were Nicolas, Roxana, and Susana. Okay, <clears throat> tell me about at least one of them, please. Okay, Roxana. Not Janira, not everybody talk about Janira. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Tell me about okay. Roxana. Roxana, uh, she was working on, on Saturday and, and yesterday. Uh, she was a little bit relaxed because in the afternoon she she has a, a break and she had she, yeah, she has or she has she has it's routinary, it's routine. Yeah. I, I understand okay, that she then, has. She, then she has, yes, you're right. Then, then she you. has a chance, she has a brain, and she took a, a dessert with her best friends. With her. With her best friend, right? And today she she was um, in a hard day because uh, her son is sick. Ooh. And and she is still working in the payroll. So okay. Monday we continue later for, for her. Okay, well, thank you very much, Fernando. Excellent. Roxana, tell me about one of your classmates, but Fernando, okay? Hello, good evening. Well, in the first, uh, in the first one um, group, it, my co-workers, it was um, William and Daniel, and the second group, it was Nicolás, Fernando, and Susana. Okay, I'm going to talk about, about uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about Nicolás. Uh, Nicolás told me that on Saturday, uh, he, he and his wife went to the cemetery because uh, they lost one um, relative. Relative, yeah. And yeah, and Sunday uh, he uh, stayed at home and he watched the soccer soccer play. And Susanna told told us that uh, her brother visited his house and Saturday and Sunday he got a dinner. He got a dinner at the restaurant. Restaurant. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Roxana. Nicolas, tell me about one of your partners, please. Just one. Well, my partner, my co-workers, eh, eh, fueron, where? Where? Eh, Roxana, Fernando, and Susana. Eh, and Roxana, eh, on Saturday, she's working and uh, visit uh, the supermarket and on Saturday uh, Fernando uh, 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 visited your your his, his. sorry his your she his his no your his his he is Went the to supermarket. No. Hold on. Listen to me, Nicolas. You told me. Fernando visited his. Okay. Fernando visited his. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Let's see. We are talking about this. And please remember, I already explained this once for you guys. We have for I. We got for I we got uh 
my, okay? For you, we got your. For he, we got his. For she, we got her. In the case of it, we got its. When we talk about we, we say our. And we are talking, when we are talking about they, we use them. Now, please remember, what are we saying here? Okay, when we say my, your, his, her, it's, our, them. Okay, we are saying this. Look, in the first case, in the mm -hmm. second one, in the second one, when you say your, you are saying, you are saying su, but you are saying usted, okay? That's something that we must take into consideration, okay? And we must be careful with this. Why? Because then I told you, Fernando said he, Fernando said he visited his. What are we expressing here? We are expressing su, but in this case, we are talking about him. Okay. Yes, Janira, tell me. It's a for they is not they, there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yes. In this case is there. Thank you. So we got her, and in this case for her, we got who, but we are talking about the agent. Okay. And in the same way, our, nuestro, their, su, de ellos. So we must be careful with this because in Spanish we use the same word. But in English, we are specific, okay? So, you were telling me that Fernando visited his, okay? Okay, teacher. Fernando visited his uh, sister and his sister and visited to the supermarket and, oh. Sus and Susana, uh, she will sick on, she was sick. she was sick on Saturday and uh, Sunday in the morning only uh, because, okay. because the night I needed dinner uh, in a restaurant. Okay. At night, she had dinner at the restaurant. Uh, Thank you okay. very much. Susana. Okay. Hello, Susana. Hello. Uh, Susana, my parents. please tell me about one, one of them, please. Okay. It's uh, Roxana, Fernando. Um, is uh, Roxana and Sarurai, uh, she visited her friend. Um, and yes. also she does uh, the chore of the her house and Fernando uh, he went to uh, supermarket okay perfect Wilfredo please tell me about one of your classmates Alfredo, hello. There you are. 
Tell me about one of your Sorry, classmates. Would you repeat, teacher? Would you mind telling okay. me about one of uh, your I classmates? I was talking with... Yeah, uh, I was talking with Walter, Janira, and Amber, and they Tell told me, me that... Ah, okay, okay, I'm talking about Walter. He told me that uh, Saturday he was... Uh, he, he went to work all day in the afternoon. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, at night on Saturday, he watched TV with, with his family. Then on Sunday, Sunday morning, he went to, to make something with, to, I, I, I guess, to, to, to the market. And, and at noon, he went to play soccer. Then they watch TV. In the afternoon, around 4 p.m., he watched the soccer match uh, with uh, oh, La that, Selecta. Yes. That was terrible. Let's not talk about it. Yes. And let me see. At night, uh, he watched TV again with, with his family. Okay, perfect. Guys, please just give me a second. Mm. Just one minute, please. Ouija, y por el Leicester Crowley, un famoso ocultista del que compró una casa. De hecho, es el siguiente que sufrió del ocultista de Leicester Robert Clare y su familia. Ok, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let's see, Walter, please tell me. Okay, my partner is Redo, Janira, me. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, tell me about okay. Janira. Oh, Janira, oh, I don't remember, teacher. Uh, I remember how Wilfredo. Okay, and Wilfredo. Day. Wilfredo on Saturday. And he was to. The shop in the market. And okay. Morning. And and at night, and I watching TV. And Saturday, and he was the watching song, and Takachico. Okay. And 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 afternoon, and I watched the games, the match, the selection Salvador. Costa Rica. Okay, okay. That was on Sunday. On Sunday, okay? On Sunday. Okay, teacher. Yes, uh, perfect. Thank uh, you. And, That's and enough. Wilfredo. That's enough, Walter. That's enough. And thank Wilfredo, you very much. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. I'm sorry, but I am short on time. Thank you very much, Walter. I appreciate it. Janira, today nobody wants to talk about you. <laughs> I have you with this teacher. I talk okay, about please. Amber. The first time Tell I was me about, with, I, I was about with, Amber. Okay. I was with Fernando and Amber. And the second time I was with Walter, Wilfredo, and Amber again. Then I talked about Amber. Amber enjoyed uh, he, her, her weekend because she celebrated a birthday of one of one of uh, her friends. She went to a restaurant in Volcano and celebrate a birthday of one of them. Uh, at night on Sunday, she was TV in Netflix and that's it. Okay, she was watching TV, that's excellent. Ambar, please, would you be so kind as to tell me about one of your classmates? Yes, in my case, I, I, I will talk about Janita. <laughs> okay, tell me about Janita. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> she, she told, told us uh, about her weekend on Saturday. She told, told us she drove a lot of time in Opico because it. It have a, a lot of traffic, travation. <laughs> um, 
she she comment she comment on Sunday she watch a uh, a series on Netflix. I, I don't know. I don't remember very well. And she 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 took a long nap on Sunday. Perfect. Thank you very much, Amber. Well done. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Francisco Eduardo, are you available? Hello, teacher. Uh, give me a few. No problem. Few, Just let uh, me know. A few minutes, teacher. No problem. Uh, this morning, no problem. I, I am going to a work. Don't worry, don't worry. I... Let's see, there's Maria Alejandra. She wants to participate a lot. Hello, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Tell me, please, about one of your classmates, if you are so kind. I talk about Francisco. Okay, Francisco, tell me about Francisco. Francisco say work all the weekend in the night shift. And so on Sunday, uh, had a reunion with his family in his mother in low house. Okay. And, and, a, and a Chinese food. And only that because work in the night and sleep in the day. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. William, tell me about one of your classmates, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, two classmates. Uh, first, uh, Lucero. Uh, okay, tell me about Lucero. Just one, okay? Lucero, Just... she, she started English every Saturday. Okay, what else can you tell uh, me about her? Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Uh, uh -huh. He visited his family on Sunday. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Nathanael, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I am fine. Um, talking about Marta, um, uh, she went to the bank and on, on Saturday and stay in, in house. Um, went to the supermarket and, and watch TV uh, a little. Okay, just that? Yeah. That's it, thank you very much. Silvia, your turn. Silvia, hello. Well, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. There's uh, perhaps she's not available at the time. Jose, Jose Osorio, please, hello. Hello, teacher. Please tell me about one of your classmates. Of all the people you were with, uh, just tell me about one. Okay, I uh, talk about Maria Alejandra. Okay, perfect. I remember she told me uh, uh, she went to the diagnostic center and it was diagnostic. a very diagnostic, diagnostic. Yes. diagnostic center. And on Saturday, it was a very busy day at work. And she had many things to do. And then she went to the Multiplaza, remember? And on okay. Sunday, uh, 
she visited visited her mother and grandmother and stayed at her house all afternoon and, you know it's only a remember okay thank you that's good okay thank you everybody oh claudia hello claudia how are you hello teacher i'm fine hello. and you yeah i'm just fine thank you very much tell me about one of your classmates please Oh, sorry, teacher. I was trying to connect me. Okay, and tell me about yourself. Well. What did you do in the weekend? I had a, a busy weekend because um, Saturday in, in the church, at, yes. at church or in the church? At church. At church, uh, celebrate the Children's Day. And Sunday, sell pupusas, and I prepare the beans. I prepare the cheese, and, and I have many activities. And in the, at, at night, I need review an academic report because I need send this day in the morning. I now I thought Matt in the morning, in the afternoon I I traveled to Santa Ana because I had a problem with my computer and I don't I to stay at home now because it was late. I was in sister sister house, and yes. I I'm not I'm not using my computer now. I was trying to download the the manual. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see. Do you remember that in unit number one, we were talking about uh, product testing and today we're going to continue working about product testing. Okay, we are going to talk about, well, first we're going to be talking about vocabulary. We're going to be focusing on vocabulary and I would like you to check out the image that I'm going to share with you. Okay, we are in the manual in page number 19. Okay, exercise six, building vocabulary. The terms in in the chart below describe types of tests and research methods connected to product testing. Match the terms to their definitions. Check answers with a partner. You have to match the terms to their definitions, okay? So we have site and handling test, use test, branded test, blind test, monadic method, sequential monadic method, Pair comparison test. And then we have consumers use or cite and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample for as a sample or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Consumers use a product, cite it and handle it. They rate it, then they use, cite, handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. This test is a good option when 
there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. Products are tested on branded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Okay, guys, you will have, due to the complexity of the vocabulary, you will have five minutes to do the match, okay? I will be passing by from group to group. If you have any questions, give me a holler, raise your hand, and I will get to you guys. So let me recreate the groups, please. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Okay, let's go check on something. Sí. Yeah. Mm. Eso me dice de pro. 
Okay. And the first is seven. Mm -hmm. The second is two. Use this. Because we may use the problem as we can use the problem. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's check them out. Let's see. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, and handle it, and rate it later. If you remember last class, I told you the name of that method, because in that method, you don't make comparisons. You just focus on one product. Monadic test. Exactly. Method. That's number two, second. right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm sorry. Yes, that's number five. Five. Uh -huh. Yeah, number five. The order is the first seven. Seven, the first five. Is seven, five, then. Must take the product to reuse it. And there is a sample of an alternative as we will usually use it. Use test. Perfect. Okay. Or Roxana, your turn. Roxana doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, this concept are, are related to marketing, right? I don't know nothing about it. This is very specific vocabulary, right? Yes. Right, yeah. Don't yeah, that's that. why we analyze the vocabulary, but then I take you to talk about something else because, I mean, this is too specific about a topic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The number five, monotic method. What's the order you've got? Seven, one, two, three. Uh, no. Seven. Uh -huh. five, five. Five. Yes, five. Okay. Two. Uh -huh. Three. Bye. Uh, but here says when there are okay, tell, tell me the order. Tell me the order you got. The product. We need more time, teacher. No, oh, but tell me how far you have gone already. Okay, the order the number one is one, the second, uh -huh. I don't know, next uh -huh. two. Okay, seven. The first really? one, seven, yes. Okay. Pair the competitors if consumers use and cite and handle one product. Consumers and use or cite and handle product. one product. Okay, that's pair comparison test. Then another, yeah. you see, oh. then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. What are they oh. doing? Comparing, comparing. Then number five, the next one is number five. Why? Do you remember last class? Last class I explained it to you what was the monadic method. And that's when you use the product in real circumstances Use the product, cite it, and handle it, and rate it later. Just one product, separate it. They don't compare. They just analyze one product. Okay? And then the next one is number... Yeah, number five. Seven. <laughs> seven, five, and seven, then... Seven, five, two. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Three. Uh-huh. No. Yes. Yes. And one. Uh, um, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Teacher. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. 
uh, I told to William and Susanna that I can enter to the platform. I can really? see that the yes, the model two. Only motion two. Yes, only motion yeah. one. Okay, hold on just a second then. Give me just a second. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did you access by the computer or by your cell phone? My computer. I tried I tried to enter using the link uh, online. Online that Inglés Corporativo. Inglés Corporativo punto next. Course. Slash course. dashboard. Look, can you see? Let me see. Corporativo plus PN ITO seven. Uh, I don't know. Let's, okay, am, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can you see my screen? Let me see. Where my pantalla? Yes. Okay, click on Inglés Corporativo online, right? Inglés. That's, that's Inglés Corporativo online, that's online, Inglés Corporativo.net. Okay? Okay. Then in my case, because I'm loaded already, yo como ya estoy cargado acá, me aparece directamente esto. Okay? Okay. But if I sign out, What I'll get is this. Let's see, just give me a second. Me va a aparecer esta pantalla. And that's where I get uh, my email right and yes. my password and I sign in. And when I sign in, I get all my courses. You see? Yes. Uh. And there I got English Corporate, English Intermedium, module two. I'm going to try again, teacher. Yeah, sure do. Okay, if I have some trouble, I'm going to text you. Yeah, no, you no problem, no problem. Okay. Okay, Our what current, you got? What you got? Tell me the order you got, guys. Well, okay, teacher. Nicolas. <laughs> hmm? Tell the, to the teacher the, 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 the sequence. The teacher, Do the you... sequence of the numbers are seven, four, five, five, three, one, two, six. Okay, let's see. I'll give you three, the first three. Okay. Seven, five, two. Seven, five, two. Five. Three? No. Uh -uh. Seven, five, two. Seven, five, two. Three, round test. Well, say what, Roxana? Ash. Tell me, yeah, Fernando. because finish. We finish. We finish. Okay, tell me what you got. Uh, seven, uh -huh. five, yes. two, three, yes. six, yes. one. Okay, four. Perfect. Well done, yeah. Fernando. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we we come on. We get. We get. We guys yeah that's, nice. good. Yeah, that's I good. it's good that you include roxana in the exercise nice mm, nice of you thank you yeah thank you roxana, okay guys yeah 
I am sure she did. I'll see you in the main room, okay, in one minute. Okay. Okay, thank you, Chair. Okay, okay, okay. So, Amber, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, today we are running with the conversations, right? Uh, uh, really. Uh, so, so. <laughs> so, so, okay. And we are still missing one last conversation. We are going to do one more. Sorry? In groups. We are still going to do one more working in groups. Okay. One more activity. It's going to be interesting. Oh my gosh, Amber. Now that I saw your name, I remember that we haven't got the attendance yet. Okay. You are the first one in the list. Thank you. Yes, I know. You are the first one in the list. Amber Eliel Faro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Amber. Appreciate it. Claudia Elisa Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Uh, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Mora. Thank you, Daniel. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Andaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Okie dokie, guys. Let's see. Let's do the exercise. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see. In the case of Sight and handling test. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fernando, tell me, tell me which one is sight and handling test? Sight and handling test is, this test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumer to experience. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see number two, number two. Ambar, what you got for number two? Okay, I'm not sure, but I, I, I think these consumers use or cite and handle one product, they then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if somebody's got a different opinion. Thank you very much, Amber. Let's see. 
Janita, what you got? Well, use this. I guess is consumer take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own, own, own house. Okay, perfect. Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they would usually use it in their own home. So you see, to use it, that's why it is a use test. Number three, branded test. Let's see, let me get uh, something here. Just give me a second. There we go. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jose Osorio, number three, what you got? Jose. Okay, perhaps Jose is not here available. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else do I have. Maria Alejandra, number three, which one is for you? Which one is it? I think Fisher is a customer are aware of the brand they are trying. This that better reflect the real world experience and the value, the value of the brand. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see, Nicolas, number four, blind test. Yes, Nicolas? Sorry. I think. Tell me. Uh, the blind test, the blind test is consumer use a product site, it and handle it, they rate it, then they use site handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not trade, not rate both products against each other. Mm. I think. Interesting. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. Roxana, what do you think? Which one is a blind test? Give me a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Blind test is product are tested, tasted um, brother. So the customers focus strictly on the product char char characteristic and not on the brand name. Okay, that's blind, blind test. test. Perfect. Thank you. Products are tested unbranded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics oh. and not on the brand name. Okay. Now let's see, Sylvia, number five. What you got for number five? Number five, monadic method. Uh, consumers use a product in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Okay, that's number five. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see number six. And number six is Sequential monadic method. That's for Walter. Walter, you just got two options. Choose one, please. Okay. And customer and use a product and say I am ready if they are right. 
write um, if then the using the say hundred another product and wait if the customer does not wait and both product against <clears throat> each other. Against, against each other, Walter. Against each other. Perfect, Walter. And now let's see, I'm sorry, number seven, you're just going to read it, but let's see. Um, Sana, please read fair comparisons test. Please. Susana. Ah, excuse me, teacher. Hi. Hi, Roxana. Escuché. Is a, is a number. Number seven. Excuse me. Number seven. Seven is is consumer use or sign and handling one product. There are another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay, consumers use or side and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Now, let's see who was raising your hand, Lucero. Yes, tell me. I didn't stay, sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's see, I can help you here, let's see. There you go. Okay, guys, now you got another chance to talk working in groups. What are you going to do? Okay, you got, again, a very, very simple question. Which one is it? The question is quite simple and it's like this. When, when buying a product, which is the first Okay, this is the question you're going to ask your partner. When buying a product, which is the first characteristic you focus on and why? You get it? Check it out in the chat. When buying a product, which is the first characteristic you focus on and why? You're going to be working in pretty small groups. You're going to have four minutes for developing the activity and then I'm going to bring you back here and I'm going to ask each of you these questions, okay? So let me do a little something. Okay, groups are created, please. Jump in, you will have four minutes for the activity. Ni modo. Bye, teacher.
Ay, teacher. Hello, ladies. I imagine it. You were doing a disorder right here. My gosh. We, we think about what do you say when you come to this group and you read the name Janira Maria Alejandra Roxana. Jesus. And actually, oh. I hadn't. I hadn't realized that you three were going to be working together. I, and when I realized, I went like, oh my gosh, oh my. what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> the, best, uh, the best time of the night is this teacher. <laughs> you know. No, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> Please well. trust, trust in, in, in ask teacher. Mm -hmm. Trust us. <laughs> Come on, teacher. I will do my best. I'll try. That's what I can promise you. I'll try. I'll be back, ladies. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Clothes? What is the first characteristic you look? Clothes or shoes? Okay. Um, me the price. In my case, the price. No, no, no. Quality, quality before all quality. Okay. Your, uh, the, the products is um, um, it's one. It's grown. So for me, it's um. I agree with you. The, the third one is quality, uh, next price, and probably the style is the, the, the next one. Yes, it is. Uh, for me, it is, it is important to wear. Ah, enough. yes. The quality yeah, is very important. That's okay. It's the pen of, of the pro. The quality of the tablet, uh, but I, I, um, is a, a manu, como se dice? Excuse me? A manu? Size? Size. Size. Ah, pues dije a size. Is a, uh, no, is a marca. Mar Brand. Brands. Brands. Okay. Roxana say I but, went to the shopping all the weekend. I no, just shoes. Just, no. Yeah. 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 I saw no. my bedroom and I went to the yeah. shopping. No, 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 no. I, I, I go to my friend's the lunch or I go to I just yeah, looking right. for yeah, right. food. Just food or dessert. Not mm -hmm. a product. Well, the last time I bought a um, washer machine, and I remember that I see uh, the relationship between price and, and uh, quality because I was looking for a specific uh, brand. And I don't know, I looking for some opinions too. And Ethernet and what is what were no what was cuál era? Hey, hey Roxana, hey, how many that. pairs of shoes <laughs> do you have? Ah, huh? how, how many pair of shoes do you have? I I don't know. I have maybe twenty. 40? 30? Really? 30? Yeah, but mm -hmm. I bought that yes. when I was working at the office. So, imagine the... teacher, Terry Pears, <laughs> come on. Yeah, I the, most, the, most, the most I have ever had were like 14, I guess. <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> Maybe I have. 
my yes. gosh. <laughs> Very, I guess, but it was in offer. <laughs> Jesus. No, there's more than 30 there. Mm, no, I think so easy. I have there's, 30. No, there's Pero, more. Really? No, lo voy a contar. Yeah, you got three pairs per line, you got 11 rows. Okay, well, I have some, like, um, no sé, ¿cómo se diría eso? Oh my no, gosh, oh. Otro. No, then you got more, you got like, let me see, like 36, 30. No, Roxana, my shoes no. is stay in a box, all my shoes. Seriously? Because. And how many pairs you got, Maria Alejandra? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Mm. <laughs> I think that the same of Roxana, because when I oh stay in the office, gosh. I use a lot of pills and I, I try to different. <laughs> okay, yeah. what about you, Janira? Well, I told that I have enough with only six teachers. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now you just realize you don't have enough. Yeah, <laughs> no, not really, because I only use tennis. I have I wear, six. Where? I, I wear only tennis, then six is enough for me. Let me see, how many pairs of tennis do I got? I got, let's see, white, blue, Blue, green, gray, oh, gray again. Jesus, teacher, yeah. do you have a lot too? In tennis, I just got like six pairs. No, not really. I just got six pairs of tennis, uh, one pair of loafers, and two pairs of formal shoes. But teacher, if you ask to Yanira, her shoes are very, very expensive. I can shoes. imagine. She's got, <laughs> Jimmy, she's really. got Jimmy shoes and stuff. In no, my case, really. I bought some heels that high high heels that yes. the price heels that the price is was twelve dollars in offer. Oh. On yeah, sale. for me it's okay. On I sale. can pay. Only on one. Sale. Only one is expensive. <laughs> no. <laughs> o, only al but another is a normal shoes. It's like a, around seventy dollar. I oh, don't that's have enough. Oh my gosh! I even got a, I even got a twist on my on my eye. <laughs> Come on, teacher. It's for runner. It's for runner. <laughs> No comment. Let's go back to the main room, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just wait for the people to come back. And let's see who's gonna be first. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Ambar, tell me, what is the first thing you check out when you are buying a product? The first characteristic. It's, de it's depending on the product, but. Oh, that's in interesting. Case, tell me why, tell me why. Uh, for example, in, in, in the case of shoes, I prefer the quality and because for example, in MD, it's a bad quality of shoes, but I prefer Hosh Poppies. But oh, in another yeah. product, uh, the first characteristic I, I will see is price, for example, in, in food. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Nice point that you mentioned, yeah. Some products which is one characteristic and some others with 
look for something different. Excellent, very well done. Now let's see, what about you, Fernando? When you are buying a product, tell me what is the first characteristic that you focus on? And please explain to me why. Uh, I agree with Amber. By the way, I was with Amber in the group. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the first characteristic depends on the product. For example, in, in, in food, I prefer the quality. And instead of the price, uh, because it's more important for me the the the, the quality of the of the product and and choose like Amber said I prefer the the quality too and for other aspects than clothes for example I prefer the price. Okay, so when you are talking about clothing, you just go for the price. That's the yeah. first one, not the only one, but the first one that you look on. Interesting. Thank you. Now let's see, Sylvia, what about you? Tell me, what do you look for when, what is the first thing you look for when you are buying products? Okay, uh, it depends on the product because if I am looking for clothes, the first thing I look is the style. If I like the style, then I ask for for the price and then for the for the different size they have. And but if I am looking for something like an electrodomestic or a computer or appliances, or any device, appliances. If I am looking for appliances, I look in the in the brand uh, and the warranty. Oh, interesting! Thank you. Yep. Okay, you will. Let's see, let's see. What about you, Roxana? Hi, well, in my case, I think that um, I'm looking for a relation between price and quality and if I need the product. So okay. uh, it, whatever I want, I'm looking for that. Uh, for those. Yeah, yeah for, for both. Okay, thank you. Janira, what do you think? Please tell to me, what's your point of view? Well, teacher, in my case, I, I use a, a website for read a comparison and a read comparison. A, a comparison and read a comment. And I take my decision based based Base. in based in rating or position posi, posi, positioning teacher positioning 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 yeah okay interesting so you look for opinions yeah I look for opinion and what about if it's a restaurant do you do the same the same. And uh, I don't know who do you say hospedaje? Who do you say hospedaje, teacher? Elaborate, please. Uh, for example, when you look, uh, you look for a place for a stay in a few days. Like a hostel. Yeah, like, yeah, a, like hostel. a hostel. The same, I look in a application and read an opinion and I base my opinion in this. My decision. My, my decision, yes. Yeah. Interesting, quite interesting. Let's see. Wilfredo, what about you? Um, I was talking with Nathanael and Francisco and we, we was agree, we were agree. About we agreed. The, the, we agreed. Yeah. We agreed. And about price. And but we talk about depend what kind of product we are we are searching. Okay, explain to me, please. Sometimes, and if I I'm searching for uh, soccer shoes, I prefer pay pay. Mm, so much and because I, I know that another brand brand it is it is could be 
is the quality it is it is no not, not so good. good not good but if i bought or or buy um adidas nike or another brand uh, reebok it is better than another another brand brand or the pen teacher to the country with we uh, that that product was made for example oh, okay. ch chinese product uh, is if you compare chinese product with a japanese product i prefer to japanese too okay, about quality. Interesting. okay so you are talking about point origin interesting yes Let's see, Claudia, what's your opinion? What's your take on this topic? Depend the product teacher, because uh, if I bought shoes, for me it's important brown, a material, a style, and price. And if you bought um, computer or cell phone, for me it's more important important the capacity and quality yeah, and yeah. guarantee perfect thank you very much excellent claudia nicolas what's your opinion when buying a product which is the first characteristic you focus on well in my opinion are uh, for example the product with my the, the, the opinion uh, with my my partners in this case is uh, uh, is, a, is a Lucero Godinez. Uh, okay. With the product is uh, the two store. Uh, for me, I the the characters are the the product is B letter all, and the shoes the type shoes are boots. Uh, the the boots are comfortable. Uh, the waterproof, don't know why. Waterproof, and, uh, waterproof, yes. don't know why. And original designs. Okay, not weight. In this case, you say they are light, light, light. light. Yeah, it means loose, but it also means liviano. Ah, okay. Liviano. So you focus, you focus on style first. Interesting. Quite interesting. Let's see. I still got time for one more. Let's see. Let's see. My William, what do you think? What when buying a product, which is the first characteristic you focus on? Hi, teacher. Uh, no. And product look, uh, expression the day, teacher. How is the product? Okay. And, You're talking about food expiration date. Interesting. Nice. Yes. And, and, and other products, uh, uh, appearance, warranty, uh, price. Okay. Yeah, and then size. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Jose. Hello, teacher. Hello. Tell me, Jose, when you're going shopping with your family or with your wife, which is the first characteristic you would focus on? Uh, I generally look at the integrity, and that is not damaged. And that is with its accessories, the price, that it's complete packaging, the presentation, and that is not on exhibition. exhibition. Okay, yeah, because that, that's the one that gets damaged, right? Uh -huh. If it's a, it's a garment or clothes, that it does not have defects of fabric or or sewing. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. The size, uh, for example, teacher, in, <laughs> in Simán, the garments sometimes come with bites in the fabric, picaduras. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason uh, why my wife and I review the garments a lot to choose the better garment. Yeah, 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 I get it. So they are not defective. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Quite interesting. Thank you very much. Hey, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please let me get the last attendance. Wow, time flew today. It was very nice activity. Hold on. Let's see. Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Abdel Ezeta Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teachers. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Martha Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you very much. Hey guys, please, some of you are still missing some activities in the platform for unit number one, section one, please. We are already working in section two. So hurry up, please. I need you to catch up. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good night. Enjoy your rest and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Roxana, don't leave. Good night, everybody. Hi. You. Good night. Yo qué? Ahora me toca a mí. Well, actually, yes, sort of in a way. <laughs> okay. Hello. Let's see. Oh, where were you going? I'm doing some homework. Oh teacher. my gosh. Yeah. And you told me but, that your son was sick, right? Yeah. So I tried to help him with some uh, draws, dibujos. Oh. And just I disconnect around five minutes ago. Ready? Yes. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay. Okay, my gosh, let's see. Hold on, let me share with you. Okay. Me creerá que esta sesión con usted creo que nada he grabado, me voy a tener que quedar aquí como 10 minutos después. Porque no sé en qué momento la pausé al inicio. Sí, al inicio, ¿verdad? No. Al inicio que comencé a reconocer, yes, I think so. Okay, this is the topic, right? 
Can you see my screen? Yes. Sí. Ok, veamos. Aquí lo que estamos haciendo es trabajando con sujetos complejos. Ok, ¿qué es un sujeto complejo? No, 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 no era ese, teacher. Era el, el anterior, las cláusulas donde cambiamos el, el, donde quitamos el I was o I no sé qué y, y poníamos el verbo en ING. Ah, ok, before making a decision. Ok, cuando estamos hablando de how to use reduce Albert clause of time. Eso, eso, okay. eso. Ok. Vale, veamos. Aquí yo les decía que cuando nosotros tenemos, aquí están las reglas realmente. Vean, nosotros tenemos una cláusula adverbial y tenemos una frase adverbial. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Cuando hablamos de cláusula, recordemos algo. Cláusula es una oración. Ok, I'm sorry, I will explain this in Spanish so you get, better, you get it better. Ok. Cuando hablamos de cláusulas, hablamos de oraciones. Solo que normalmente son oraciones que van acompañadas de otras. Hay cláusulas dependientes y hay cláusulas independientes. En este caso, este tipo de cláusulas son dependientes. Similar a las uh, conditionales. ¿Se acuerdan de las condicionales? Sí, sí. Exactamente la misma idea. Son cláusulas dependientes. Necesitan una de la otra para transmitir una idea clara. ¿Ok? Vamos, de regreso con la imagen. Le explico. Estaba aquí. Entonces, nosotros tenemos acá. Cuando tenemos una cláusula adverbial se le llama porque estos son adverbios. O sea, que comienzan uh -huh. con before, after, since y while. Estas pueden convertirse en frases adverbiales. Ok. El... Eso no es tanto de su... O sea, usted no va a enseñar gramática. Lo que yo te necesito que entienda es esto. Cuando yo digo, after we conduct a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. ¿Cuál fue el cambio? Ah, el cambio fue que quitamos el sujeto y nos vinimos directo al verbo y el verbo lo pusimos en ing. Esto solo puede suceder cuando nosotros tenemos el mismo sujeto en ambas cláusulas. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Solo si hay el mismo sujeto podemos hacer eso. Si no, no es posible. ¿Ok? Irregularmente, eso es así. O sea... Normalmente yo vengo días diciéndole siempre que tenemos start, que tenemos after, que tenemos like. Yo les he mencionado algunos verbos y algunos adverbios. Que después de ellos nosotros vamos a poner un verbo en ING. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué lo hacemos esto? Eh, realmente suena más apropiado. Y le estamos dando más énfasis a esta cláusula. ¿Ok? Before making a decision, ponemos una condición. Antes de hacer una decisión. We still need to go over the opportunities and trades that could affect the company. Ok. Uh -huh. like imagine that uh, usted le está explicando a su hijo y le dice. Eh, before, before coloring the picture or the drawing. Antes de colorear el dibujo. You will need to, you will need to write the test, the text. Va a tener que escribirle el texto. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque si no luego este va a mancharlo. ¿Sí? Le está dando una instrucción. ¿Pero qué está haciendo? Enfatizando la primera parte. Antes de colorear. Como por ejemplo. Ok, let's see. Yo le pregunto. Mmm, veamos. Ok, when you apply makeup, ok, tell me, eh, before applying the, 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 the blush, what do you do? Usted me dice, before applying the blush, I apply a base, for example. Right? 
Uh -huh. Como lo explicábamos. Oh, before I apply the blush, I apply a base. Pero suena redundante, ¿verdad? Yeah, sí. Metimos el I en las dos ocasiones. Uh -huh, uh -huh, o sea, para uh -huh. evitar la redundancia, cuando el sujeto es el mismo, para evitar la redundancia en el sujeto, es que nosotros nos volamos un sujeto y le ponemos ING al verbo. Vaya, pero por ejemplo, si, cuando nosotros estamos estructurando algo, o sea, un, un, algo, una tarea, por ejemplo, usualmente ocupamos muchas veces el mismo sujeto, hay, 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 y no tenemos esas, esas, esos adverbios. No podemos no, hacerlo. No, lo que sucede, no. Precisamente no podemos hacerlo. Lo que sucede es que normalmente cuando nosotros estamos estructurando oraciones, estamos haciendo un ejercicio gramatical, normalmente ponemos oraciones aisladas y tienden a ser oraciones independientes. Pero uh -huh. aquí estamos hablando de oraciones más complejas, uh -huh. ideas más grandes. Ok, like... Eh, Usted me dice, hey teacher, ¿usted cómo le hace con las clases? Y yo le digo, oh, before opening the session, I check, I check the, that I have all the links ready, the attendance list, and, and actually before checking the attendance list, I check the platform, I check the platform, to see if everybody has advanced on, on it. And also, uh, while I am checking everybody's attendance, I check the platform and I pass the grades to the attendance list because in my attendance list, I also keep the record. And, and then, uh, you know what's the problem for me? My hearing, because sometimes, While I'm teaching you the class, I'm also listening to the people in my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And remember, my job is teaching, so uh, my hearing is very well developed. Yes. ¿Te da cuenta cómo lo está usando? Que está usando en una conversación, pero expresado, la cuestión es esta. Cuando usted expresa circunstancias que provocan un resultado, es que hacemos esto. ¿Ok? Okay. Lo que sucede es que estamos hablando siempre en oraciones más complejas. La idea es que usted, la idea es que usted entienda cómo se hace. Luego lo vamos a ir practicando y va a haber un momento en el cual se va a volver automático. ¿Ok? Por eso no es tanto de que se enfoque en el punto gramatical. Me interesa... No me interesa que entienda tanto la gramática, sino que use las oraciones. ¿Ok? Ok. O sea, la idea va a ser esa, que lo usemos las oraciones. Por eso yo le preguntaba, este, uh, before applying the blush, what do, you, what do you do? And you tell me, oh, before applying the blush, I apply a base, right? Ok. Creo. I'm not so sure. No estoy tan seguro. I mean, it's been a long while for me without my naps. Ya sé mucho. O sea, I have lost the, the, the <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, well, let's see in my case. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. oh. Anytime I'm going out of my house, I need to to apply on uh, sunblock, okay? Mm -hmm. So, while getting ready to go to work, I always apply sunblock, you see? Mm -hmm. Mientras me preparo para ir a trabajar, siempre me pongo sunblock. Okay. Otherwise I get many dark and white spots on my face. You get it now? Ahora sí. So, so, ayudé so, o la confundí? Sí, sí, sí. No, no, no. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, lo que voy a hacer es tratar de usarlo cuando eh, nos estemos preguntando qué hicimos en el día o, y poder aplicarlo para Exacto. que hice antes o después de ciertas actividades. Uh -huh. 
Exacto. Y luego, más adelantito, lo va a relacionar más cuando veamos pasado perfecto. Ok. O sea, decir, oh, ahí encaja aquello que vi hace un tiempo. Va a ver, es, es simple. Lo que pasa es que vamos construyendo las bases para algo más complejo. Ok. Y si se ha dado okay. cuenta, las oraciones son más largas. Sí. Porque estamos tratando de transmitir ideas más complejas. Ok. Ok. Roxana, a pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Me too. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Take care. Okay, let's see. And that's the end of the class. Let's just wait a second.
Okay, let's finish.